Good morning, happy Tuesday morning po sa ating lahat. We welcome you in our bread and breakfast. And we welcome ourselves. It's always a joy po sa amin that we can be restored po sa bawat isa sa atin to be able to study with you every book in the Bible and every chapter. And we can really see that you know it's only by grace. Even as we serve God, even in our heart's desire to be able to come every morning in our morning devotion. You know, it's, it's not enough na meron po talaga tayong just a desire. But, you know, it is really God who will enable us. It's always by His grace that we can stand on the stage. We can come up and be able to minister po sa Kanya. Uh, because this past few weeks, I believe we didn't have our morning devotion for two weeks because uh, sa dami pong uh, even attacks and oppositions from the enemy, we, I had gone through an injury. Na han, hanggang ngayon, I'm still um, going through healing. And even Joel, na kasama po natin for the media, he, he had his um, pain in his back. But we thank God, amen, dahil po hindi kailanman magtatagumpay ang kaaway. And He is the one who will always be our helper, our protection po araw-araw, even sa ating pong pagsamba, sa ating pong uh, pagsaserve sa Kanya. God is our protector and our helper. Today in Psalm 121, this, we are in this another book after Malachi last week ay makikita din po natin that the theme in this chapter is is about God. It's about the song about God who protects and He is the protection and the helper for everyone. At kung atin pong babasahin in Psalm, ang Psalm 121, it's a very short chapter, but it speaks loudly of who God and how great God is in our lives. This is actually a song, a uh, sang and a prayer Um, prayed by the people who goes up to Jerusalem. At alam naman po natin that three times a year, the people of Israel, every Jew from all over the world, they were commanded by God to go up. That means to return, to be restored, come in Jerusalem thrice a year. And that is in the time of Feast of Unleavened Bread, Feast of Weeks, and the Feast of Tabernacles. But yung journey po nila, or the pilgrim of going to the temple of God and to worship in the center temple sa Jerusalem, it is not an easy journey. Dahil marami po sa kanila, even in these times, in the old times, they have to travel by foot. They have to travel by land. They have to travel in a very difficult ways. Amen? Yung iba po si, sa kanila galing pa po sa malayang lugar and they have to bring with them their offerings. Every year, three times a year, they can never come in the presence of God and to worship in the temple of God empty-handed. So you would imagine, kunyari yung iba sa kanila, even if they are very rich, if they have, they have to bring the tent, that their tithes and offering to God, dala-dala po nila yung goats, yung pigeons, yung cows, and every treasure that God has blessed them with. And you know, in their pilgrim, hindi po maiwasan na meron pong mga robbers. Marami pong mga kawatan, marami pong pwede po nilang ma-meet ma, ma along the way. Accidents, weather, And, and many things po na maari pong gawin ng kaaway to discourage and stop them to worship God. But in Psalm 121, makikita po natin dito ang pananampalataya ng mga anak ng Panginoon. And so that's why our title for today, Hope in God, Our Protector. Amen? Kasi kung ating babasahin po dito, many times it spoke about God as their help, as their, uh, the one, the watchman over them, the one who keeps and preserves them. But how would God really protect His people? Amen? And so, napaka-importante po ito. It's not just how God protects them in, in, in their time when they worship God, but even in our time today, in this difficult and these dark times that we are living in, in our journey, in our pilgrim as Christians in worshiping God, I believe that we need God's protection. We need God's help. Amen? So let us learn from the psalmist today. It says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help comes from? He lifts his eyes to the mountain 
And where does my help comes from? Kasi nung mga panahon po na yun, eh, even today, you know, the temple of God in Jerusalem and the main temple nung mga panahon po noon, it was in the mountain of Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is a mountainous place. It is <coughs> excuse me, surrounded by mountains. And the temple of God is, is there. At ito po yung goal, ito po yung pupuntahan ng maraming mga worshippers noong mga panahon na yon. But look at the contrast or the irony of the song. It says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help comes from? Verse 2, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If we look at the real translation of verse 1, I lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? Sabi po dito, the, 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 the psalmist also answered himself and he says, My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If we think that the, the help or the faith, the hope of the psalmist is in the mountain of Jerusalem, then we thought wrong. Because sabi po niya dito, and if we look at other translation, it says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. No, because it is not on the mountains but it is God. Whenever the, the, the psalmist or the pilgrim people go up in Jerusalem, they, should, they will not just set their eyes on the mountain of Jerusalem, but it, it's, it is about the presence of God in them. It is the presence of God that is not just bound by the temple. It is not just bound on the mountain of Jerusalem. But it is the very God who created these mountains. It is the God who has been with them even if they were not there yet, even if they were just so, they were distant from the mountain of Jerusalem. God is with them. And sabi po niya dito, his help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Beyond the mountains, beyond these great things. Alam niyo po, maging po sa panahon po natin ngayon, if we look, many temples, Buddhist temples, Hindu temples, they were all put and created, built on the mountains. Okay? Because the mountain signifies yung status, yung, yung, yung greatness. So that's why they put the, the temples on the mountains. But again, Psalm 121 reminds us and reminds that psalmist on those days that his help, his hope is not on the mountain. It is not just in the temple of Jerusalem, but the very presence that dwells in the temples. It is the presence of God that dwells even to them as they hope in, in worshiping him. It is he who will help them. It is He who covers them in their journey. It is He who protects them. And how? And it's not just on the mountain. It's not the mountains that we have in the world. Amen? Maging po sa panahon po natin ngayon, makikita po natin mountains. I, you know, many people worship the mountains. Amen? Ang maging sa panahon po natin, many are still worshiping the nature the creations. But here, the psalmist emphasized that it should be the maker, the creator, whom we need to hope upon. It is he who need, whom we need to seek in our lives because our help comes from the one who created all these things. You know, in our lives, we have a lot of mountains. Maliban po po sa literal na people worship the nature and the mountains but we have also our mountains in our lives, idols in our lives. Sometimes we look up at our status in life. Marahil po yung ating studies when we were young. We look up to kung ano po yung matatapos po natin. These are our mountains. We rely kung ano po yung pinag-aralan po natin, saan po tayo nang tapos. And we always desire for the top universities, top, top uh, mga courses in our lives. When we were working, we begin to rely on the companies. Ano kaya yung big companies na kailangan ko pong kailangan kong applyan? No? How much money we can get? How much? How high our position should be? And many of us we rely on this, and this is our mountains, and they become gods over our lives. But you see here, the psalmist is saying, this is not our hope comes from. This is not where our help comes from. God, who is the giver of all these things, 
God who is the creator of all opportunities. He is the one we need to put our hope into. Because He is our helper. First point, how can God protect us? Is that the great God is our help. He is our help. And He is no ordinary God that many people in this world worship. But He is the greatest God. He is a great God because He created everything. He is the source of everything. He is the maker of all the things that many people in this world who doesn't know God rely upon. So, balit makikita po natin, as a great God, He has the greatest power. He has the greatest ability. He is in control of everything. Kaya nga po, it is a reminder for us why it was put in the psalm. It is a reminder that we need to rely on this God. He alone is able. He alone can work things out in our lives, just like for the pilgrims. Why the Israelites were able to reach Israel, because God was walking with them in their journey. God's presence is with them as they hope in God, not on the mountain of Jerusalem, but as they hope in God, God's presence. It is He who will bring them in Jerusalem, that they be able to bring their tithes and their offerings, they be able to worship God. Second point is that how God covers and been with them, sabi po dito, He watches over them always. Sabi po niya dito in verse 3, He will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither sleep nor slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. And the sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. Se second point in verse 3 to 6, He watches over you always in day and night and the sun and the moon will never harm you it speaks about the times in our lives when we feel good when things are good it will never bring us harm in the times of our darkness it will never us harm us why bakit po minsan po when things are going better in our lives everything is doing good Sometimes this also becomes a reason why we fall from sin, why, become, why we become lax, why sometimes it is easy for the enemy to come and attack us. Why? Dahil po, sometimes we, do not, we no longer pray. We no longer rely on God and we rely on the things that we have or maybe we have achieved. Kaya po, even in the sun, the sun can still harm us. The, da the, the daytime, it can still harm us. Dahil po nga, our tendency as humans, we rely on ourselves. But even, sabi po dito, even on the moon by night, we, these are times, the dangerous times sa ating buhay. We cannot see clearly. We are in fear. We are in so much chaos in our lives. But sabi po dito, God watches over us. Sabi po dito, He watches over you. He, pa ulit ulit and six times the word, He watches over you or He keeps you. It was repeated all over and all over again in this short psalm. And it tells us that indeed God will watch over us. When and how? Always. Always. In every time of our lives, God is there to watch over over us. How? Sabi po dito in verse 3, He will not let your foot sleep. Amen? And He watches over you, will not slumber. Hindi niya po hahayaan that we will stumble. Hindi po niya hahayaan na tayo would go into danger sa ating buhay. That means He will establish us in firm place. He will establish us. He will, we will be founded by a safe place sa ating buhay. Only if we rely, only if we hope in God just like the psalmist has done. 
Kasi alam po niya the foundation kung saan po siya nilalagay ng painon. He has to go and bring his offerings to Israel. Alam niya he is in the right. He is he has this good intention. He is in the right path. Pero kahit po yung path na iyon, it is a dangerous path. It is it, alam niyo po yun ni, yung safety po niya is at stake. But because he is going up and traveling for the purpose of glorifying God in his life, God will establish him. He will not let him sleep. That means God gives us the foundation. And what is the foundation in our lives? That we will not be asleep. We will not, our feet will not sleep. The foundation of holiness. The foundation of righteousness and grace. Ito po yung foundation ng ating faith. That's why Christians, for us, how can we not be moved in our lives today? Because many always say, it's not easy. It's not easy to be a Christian. It's not easy to, to live in a righteous life, in a life that is worthy of God's calling. In this time of darkness, yes, it is not easy. That same is true with the way the Israelites have to worship God. It is not easy. They have to carry the burdens. They have to carry their own cross. They have to travel. Lahat pa nung offerings po nila, they have to face their enemies. They have to face yung danger, yung fear po nila. And same is true in our time today. But the thing is, we have God as our helper. He is our hope. And He is the very foundation of what we do. When we are in holiness, when we are in His righteousness, and the very calling that He has called us, and especially in His grace, this is the foundation of our faith. We know everything is in grace. And that's why we know God will enable us. We don't just rely on our own strength. We don't just rely kung ano pa yung kaya natin gawin. But we know that our God founded us in His grace. He is our great help. He is, he is not someone who doesn't Keep His promise. And in His words, marami po siyang sinabi. Those who hope in the Lord, they will be renewed in their strength. Marami po na salita ng Panginoon sa kanyang Biblia, dito po sa Biblia. This is the very foundation where God has established us. And even in the death of Jesus Christ, ito po yung foundation ng ating pananampalataya. Knowing that Jesus has already overcame everything, even death, we can do anything. Even our dreams, we can achieve greater things, greater hearts in our lives. Why? Because it is not impossible. It is so much possible for us because God has established His people. Pag tayo po ay tinawag ng Painon sa isang lugar, God will surely establish us. He will establish every good work and works done according to His will. And the good thing is, when He sends us, when He calls us, when He tells us to go in a journey, God will never sleep nor slumber. He never closes His eyes. He's a God who doesn't need sleep. Nung kahapon is the first day ng aking hipag to go back to work after three months of maternity leave. And she has to leave us yung baby po niya. Ay, grabe. First day po namin na, na mag-alaga dun sa baby niya. It was a struggle because me and, and my brother, who's here, her husband, sobrang inaantok po kami. It's, I mean, it keeps us from not being able to really give our best to... to Take care of the baby. Kaya po yung kung ang tao hindi kailangan ng tulog, gaya ay ang buhay siguro, no? But you know, we are humans. We have limits. We are so limited. But we thank God we have God who has no limits. We have a great God who never sleeps. He doesn't need to rest. He doesn't rest in, in, in taking care of us. He doesn't his slumber. His eyes is always with us. He never gives up on man. 
He will always have that eyes towards us. Always, always. Tinitingnan po tayo ng Panginoon. He watches over us. And when He watch over us, He watch over us in what? In love. This is how He helps us. He, he watches over us always in love. Tayo nga po pag nainis ang ba, tayo sa bata, ay nako, nakaasar. Diba? Ma, maikli po yung PC po natin as tao. We watch over yung, yung, yung babies, yung ating mga anak. Pero minsan naiklian, umiikli din po yung pasensya natin. Pero ang Panginoon, whenever He watch over us, He watch over us even in dark times of our lives. Even in times na nakalimutan na po natin siya. Even in times po that we keep on running away from Him. Even on times that we are doing something wrong. Walang magawa ang painan. He has to walk with us. Because this is how great His love for us. Pero sabi, marahil tinatanong natin, bakit may napapahamak? Bakit nag, nadumarating pa rin tayo sa point na may mga nangyaring masama? We lo- lose people in our lives that we treasure the most. There are times when we go through a lot of difficulties in our lives. It does happen. Why? Because sometimes we go out from His very presence. We go out from His very presence. And sometimes we, don't, we do not understand the ways of God. We try to control things in our lives. We always want to be in control. But you see, men, we can never be in control. But this is the weakness of men. We always try to do things on our own. Pero sabi po dito, don't worry. Things happen. Even things that we did not expect happens in our lives. But in all these things, we know that God is in control. He watches over us in love. That means there are things that happen. Minsan sa mata po natin, it's unacceptable. It's something na hindi po yun natin gusto. But it does happen. But it doesn't mean that God already t- take you for granted. It doesn't mean that God already gave up on you. No, it is necessary to happen because it is still for our good. It is still for our good. You know, even when we lost our mom, alam niyo po, in the beginning I was questioning God, God, why did you allow my mom? He is a faithful servant of yours. He is a good mom. He's a motherly. He is a. He has this love. As a mother for us, he is faithful to you. But you know, sometimes things happen for us to understand that we will never be in control. That we can never manipulate God in our lives. It's not because they are good. It's not because we are good that we can get things in our lives. But know that in any, in any times of our lives, God is there if we hope. And trust in Him. God will allow us to understand. God will show us His ways. Amen? And so sabi po dito, God is always with us. Something that I really thank God. I'm here in Manila for like eight to nine years now. But you know, God has been my protection. May mga times, you know, na hating gabi, madaling araw, nasa daan pa po ako. But I never encountered any accident, any any aberya po sa daan. And I can see, you know, na, na, narinig ko na ang maraming mga kwento ng iba. They got robbed, they, they, someone stole from them, they had an accident. But you know, the very time when God called me here in Manila and I followed God here, His calling, God has been my protection. God is always watching over me. And I know that's the reason why until today we are still alive. Every day, the enemy has a chance to take our life, to do something. But God is always my protection. And I really thank God. And in verse 7 to 8, it says, The Lord will keep you from all harm. And he will watch over your life. 
the Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forever. Third point, He will keep me from harm till eternity. He will keep me till eternity. Amen? Sabi po dito, the Lord will keep you from all harm. In anything that may harm you in all aspects of your life, whether at your work, your relationship, your ministry, spiritually and physically, God will keep you from all of this and He will watch over your life. And as long as you live, God will always be with you. God will watch. That means when it means watch over you, it means He will keep you and preserve you. Yung tipong natanggal na po lahat, I, I'm really so thankful. Uh, we had this testimony na, na narinig ko na in the past few days, may isang company who is going a lot of changes. And like four of our members are working in that company. But we're really thankful kasi marami pong Anangyari, people were removed in their jobs, na float yung iba. But you know, God kept our members from all these things. Yung iba na float and then suddenly they, they're being resumed. Grabe po yung, yung miracle na ginawa ng Panginoon. And I can really see that God is watching over all our people, our members here in Metro Manila. He keeps us from all harm and watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Nakita po natin, not just in our life today, but till eternity, God will watch over us. In our coming and going, that means in the beginning of our life until death, until the second life, in eternity, God will always watch over us and keep us sa ating buhay. Everywhere, Every time, from beginning till the end, till eternity, the Lord will be with us. He will walk with us. He will cover us, protect us. Ito po yung gawa po ng Painon. This is how the Lord will be with us. And same is true with the one who has sang that song. They sing this whenever they go back to Israel. Alam niyo po na it is not an easy thing to do to worship God. Where, where you come from, you need to go back in Israel and worship. But God made it for them. God was with them. And so that's why every year they can be able to worship. And same is true in our lives. The many things that may happen along the way. There are things, unexpected things, surprises, na naranasan po natin as we follow God and worship God in our lives, but know that God is our help. But how can we experience His help? How can we experience that God really is our protection? We need to have that faith. We need to seek Him. We need to rely on Him. Just like the psalmist says, I lift up my eyes to the mountain. That means nandun po yung longingness po niya. Nandun po yung desire po niya. The search, desire po to really have that communion and, and relationship sa Panginoon. For Him to understand, for Him to realize that God is His help. That God is the maker and creator of all these things. This is a relationship between the psalmist and God. And so even in our lives, to make Psalm 121 real sa ating buhay, to see God moving in our lives, to see, to experience the Lord in our lives, we need to have that hope. We need to desire God, seek God, rely in Him. Because most of the time when we are in the, in, in the midst of chaos and darkness in our lives, we do not seek God. We seek ourselves. We rely on ourselves. We hope in ourselves. That's why I, I put this title, Hope in the God who protects. It is only when we believe it is God. It is only when we hope in God that God will be free. God will be able to do what 
whatever he wants in our lives. But whenever we never, we do not give the control and the authority to God to move in our lives, we will always try our ways to protect ourselves. That's why we busy ourselves to acquire a lot in this world. We busy ourselves to try you know, to protect ourselves. There's always fear. But you know, until we live, until we die, there is always fear. And men will always live in fear. But for every Christian believer who hopes in God, in the midst of fear, we can have peace. We can rely in God. And you know, God will manifest himself and God will be there to help us. Alam nyo po, last Sunday night, last, just this Sunday, we had this Thanksgiving po sa ating Esther musical and we gathered all the cast and all the crews ng ating <coughs> Esther musical and we give thanks to God. And there we realize and we discover that this Esther musical this year was the most challenging and difficult Esther that we had. We had the longest time of preparation, like eight days because before we had a shorter, even shorter time, but we can see that God uh, ascended, God developed. Um, alam niyo po yun, mas pinapaganda po ng payo ng Esther, but we had this eight days of preparation. But it was not an easy time. And we all opened up ourselves last Sunday. Many of them really, uh, kasi we always go home at 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., you Yung iba pa sa amin until 4, 4.30 a.m. Nasa church pa rin po kami. But we have work the next day. And it was not easy. Marami nakasakit. Marami din pong injuries like me and my brother. We have a lot of challenges. Some of some, some of us nagkaroon po ng family problem. Marami pong nagkaroon din po ng problem in their work. The more busy we were in the church, the more na binigyan sila ng napakaraming work. And it was not it was not an easy time. It was like a very long day for us. Kaya po dumating po sa point that many of us got sick during those times. And you know, even if we have that desire, without God, we can never able to make it. But you know, every time we meet, we pray. Every time we come together, we pray. And even our relationships are being attacked. Marami Marami din sa amin may mga nagkaroon ng clash, nagkaroon po ng misunderstanding. But at the end, God enabled us. God made things happen for us. He is a God of restoration. He is a God of reconciliation. He is a God of victory. Because despite all those challenges, even po sa Manila, when you go home ng mga ganung time, it was very, I, I, I also worry about them whenever they go home. But, you know, we really thank God. Nothing bad really happened. And everything worked together for good for those who love God. And, you know, grabe po yung victory na binigay ng Painon sa amin in the Esther musical. Every one of us were surprised. Every one of us were really, uh, we were really shocked. Then, you know, we were amazed on how God enabled the Esther to, to be realized. Grabe po yung victory na binigay ng Painon and the result of Esther. He, it is because of him. He ascended our faith. He, he really, many of us were pruned. Many of us were shaped. And you know, wala po talaga kaming may pagmamalaki. We realize it is not because of our efforts. It is not because of our just, yung desire po namin to, to perform the Esther musical, but it is all by the grace of God. It is when we seek God, it is when we rely on God, because that time, many of us lose our voice too. Yep. Even yung Haman puwipiyok nan during the performance, because he, he lost his voice. But God was with us. God was with us during that Esther musical. The presence of God was heavy in the room. Na alam nyo po, kahit po wala po kaming tulog, Saturday, uh, gumagawa pa rin po kami ng tokens until Sunday early um, early morning. 
hindi pa po kami natutulog. And we, ang call time po namin sa church was 5 a.m. So we have to wake up at 4 a.m. Even myself, I only had an hour of, of sleep during those time. But alam nyo po, during the service, during that day, parang hindi po kami puyat. Parang hindi, because the joy of God, the, the strength, the peace of God was with us. It is when we learn to pray and rely. That is the only thing that we did, actually. Aside from all the hardship, from all the things that we've done, it is the prayers we did every day. We have to pray for the cast. We have to pray every time we practice. We have to pray every day for the Esther musical. And, you know, as we seek God and rely in God, God grants us victory. God ascends. So we can be able to ascend. And you know, it says here, Psalm 121 is a second song as a song of ascent. As a people of God, go up to Jerusalem and worship. They sing this song. And I believe it's the same song that we also sing this year. As we ascend to God, we have to have that faith. We need to seek God. We need to desire God. And as we desire to the God who covers and protects us and helps us, he will grant us victory. He helps us to face oppositions and struggles in our lives. And we thank God. I pray that God will also enable you and me to be able to really trust in the God who protects. Amen. Let us all pray. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, you are indeed the maker of all the earth. You are the God whom we seek. You are the God whom we desire in our lives because you are who you are. You are the God and you are the source of everything. You are the God who is in control. You are the God who never fails. The God who helps us in all times and in all matters of our lives. You never leave nor forsake us. You never give up on us. And even in our hard times, the more we see your hand, the more we come to encounter you. Our weakness is your strength, O oh Father. For you are a God who has no limits. You are the God who is not bound by sleep or tiredness. You are the God who never fails. O oh Lord God, today we come before and we give you praise and we give you honor because it is you who we know it is all you who has been working in our lives why we are here today why we can continue to hope and dream why we can continue to serve even in our morning devotion it is all because you is our helper you are our helper father you gave us strength you have gave us the ability you enable us to be to rise up in spirit physically you are our healer and lord god i thank you for you continue to manifest yourself to us lord today we pray that as we seek you help us give us that faith that we can truly desire you more and more to seek and rely Painon sa you in everything at all times in all aspects of our life because this is who you are in every aspect of our life till eternity you care for us you love us Lord help us help us to enter into that love help us to experience for Lord God, many of us here at this point, as I pray, I can sense many of us who is watching today, we feel unloved. We may have felt that God has forgotten us. God has left us. Many times out of our lives because of the many chaos and difficulties and hardship that we have come through. It seems like God is unreal. It seems like God is not our helper. But today, God wants you to know He is the help. He is your help. If you come to seek Him, if you come to desire Him, He will manifest and He will show His face, His very presence to you. Even at this moment, God is embracing you. God, in this 
very sweet voice is saying to you, my child, I love you. I watch over you, even in times of your pain, even in times of your loss, even in times of your joy, I am with you. I never leave you. People may come and go in your life. People may have abandoned you. People may not last. Even the things that you care about in this world, they were gone. But God will never leave you. And it is He who will raise you up. He will make you ascend. He will establish you, says God. He will establish you in that foundation where your feet will never sleep. In a foundation of righteousness. In the foundation of grace and victory. Today, as you enter, as you enable God to move in your life, God will come to rescue you. God is your great help. There is a way out in Jesus. There is a way out in Him. Now, till eternity, this is the how God loves you. He loves you the same from beginning till the end. He loves you. So as you pour out your hearts, yes, you can open up to God. God is here to listen. God will protect you. Today, let us make this commitment. Why sometimes the many negative things that happen in our lives? Because we are not willing. We run from the very presence of God. God watches over us. But we come to places where we hide from God. And so things happen. But today, let us just come before God. And let God know. God, may you come in our life. Lord, may you watch over my life. I want to submit to you. I want to be with you. Walk in the foundation. Walk in the path that you have built for me. Lord Jesus, today I give my life to you. I rely on you, Father. And God, may you enable me to truly rely, trust you in all things, in all times sa aming buhay. And Lord God, we know that you are the God who watches over us and you never sleep. Father, we also rely and trust and trust our lives to you. Maging sa aming buhay, Panginoon. Alam mo ang aming mga kahinaan. Alam mo din, Panginoon, ang aming mga tinatagong kasalanan. Lord God, at you was over us. We pray that, God, we can submit to your righteousness. That we will not walk in the path of sin. We will not walk in the path of our wicked. But we will always look up to you, knowing that you see us, knowing that you watch over us. Father, we can live out a life of truth. We can live out a life of purity. Painoan dalangin ko po na ikaw ay may please sa aming buhay and the way we live and the way we trust in you and not ourselves. Lord, thank you. May you make a way for us and those who are in need even Painon who is struggling in their Christian life today, Lord, as you bring them back to you, as they come before you, be with them, walk with them, and grant them victory in all things that they do. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the bread and breakfast. We thank you that you give us health and enable us, Father, to wake up early in the morning and heal us, God, so that we can fully serve you, that we can receive more and hear from you. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. And God, as we continue with our 40 days prayer and fasting on our 30th day today, God, may you continue to be glorified and speak to our lives. Lord, to you we give all the praise and the glory. This we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. And see you again tomorrow as we continue to discover the word. God bless. Bro.